Welcome. I'm John Titus here on behalf of evalkits.com. In this video session, we'll take a look at this TFT LCD direct drive demonstration kit from Renesis. It's formally called the YLCD RSK2378, and you can find it on the Renesis website and also on the Eval Kits website under that number. It's a very nice, capable kit. It comes with a liquid crystal display that's very easy to use. It's a quarter VGA display that means the resolution is 320 by 240 pixels. It's got a touch screen built in so that you can integrate that with your displays. You've got connectors for the touch screen, for the direct drive of the LCD, and for power to an inverter on the back of the LCD that drives the backlight. Very nice liquid crystal display as you'll see in the demonstrations. The kit also comes with this two-board set that's mated like this when you receive it. The processor on the top is the Renesis H8S device within that family, and it provides the I.O. connections. It's got a header here for programming, and it's got a serial port as well. The motherboard underneath has the liquid crystal display controller device as well as flash memory that feeds data out to the LCD. Nice board set. Worked very well. You also get with this kit a quick start guide. This this guide is very helpful. It's got a lot of good information and it'll get you up and running without any difficulties. There's information in here on how to set up the tools that come on this CD-ROM. You also get the HEW Integrated Development Environment from Renesis. It's a nice tool set. I've used it before and I like it a lot. You'll also find that there's a, a manual locator available within the tools once you set it up so that you can find the manuals, the instruction sheets, the data sheets, the documentations, the bill of materials and schematics for the boards. About the only thing you can't find is the liquid crystal display documentation, but you can find that elsewhere on the web and I describe that in my longer written review here on the evalkits.com website. You also get in the kit an RS-232 cable. I guess I'm a bit surprised that this comes with the kit, and that's the way to connect the kit to a host development computer. These days, so many things use the USB port. It seems a, a bit outdated, but uh, that's just the way it is. You do transfer information from your host computer down to the board in an older Motorola format, which also just adds an extra step. I wish they had a, a USB board that we could put on here and use a USB port on the host computer. But anyway, it's a nice kit. I recommend it highly if you're interested in using a small liquid crystal display, still very capable at quarter VGA resolution, and one that has a very nice touch panel on it. The YLCD RSK2378 kit is now set up in demonstration mode and it's running through software provided by Seger Microcontroller, a company in Germany that licenses this software under the name EMWIN and you can license it to run on the H8S processor and uh, other processors as well. But it provides you the capability to put graphs and text and images and colors and squares and all kinds of things on the liquid crystal display. And remember that you've got a touch panel on here too, so you can combine some of this really cool graphics information with the touch screen for customers and for applications. I'm going to let this run through a few more screens and then we'll take a break and quickly set up for the second demonstration which comes from Renaissance directly and actually illustrates the touchscreen capabilities. Remember there's more information about this kit on the evalkits.com website and you'll learn a little bit more about the development software and some of the source code that comes with the kit. Now let's take a closer look at the actual display that comes with the Renaissance kit. On the left hand side there's a bar labeled ADC. You can control the height of that bar by using a small potentiometer on the microcontroller board. On the right hand side there's a touch indicator that you can use as a slider and you can also click and send the bar up or down. The display also shows three LED areas. If you touch those, you can turn LEDs on and off on the main microcontroller board. Now it's a nice 
bright display. It has a resolution of 320 by 240 pixels. It's a standard quarter VGA display. Now I'm going to pan over to the microcontroller board and you can see the pencil pointing to the area where we have the LEDs that we control from the touch panel. The microcontroller board is a standard board from Renesis. Uh, underneath it, the motherboard, so to speak, does the LCD control and it uses cables for the touch panel, for the digital and clocking information, and also it sends power over to the backlight for the display. So all in all, a nice kit. It's uh, very easy to use and you can learn more about it in the written review posted on the evalkits.com website.